Okay, here on the desk I've got a 12 volt power supply which is currently plugged into there, which is coming through this board, which is then plugged into there, which is bringing the power back in as a 12 volt supply into here. So this little thing runs off 12 volts. That there is a little 12 to 5 volt converter. There, that board. Um, powering up the Arduino behind it. Um, I've got my little trimming potentiometer down there on the board so that I can balance um, things off with a range for the um, sender, for the fuel sender. So that that varies, that can vary things so that I can make sure that the sender will operate within range. Um, what I've got right now is just a little external separate board which is essentially a, a mock-up for the sender itself that can do between about 9 ohms and about 220 or so ohms so that's a pretty good mock-up for the sender outside of the box. Uh, all of the connections are done using um, screw-in terminals so everything's uh, removable, relatively easily removable. Um, I've got my external, <coughs> my external LED display there which is on a, on a, a wire which is roughly the right length to take it up to the front of the um, dash. Uh, I've also got my my buttons here. So as it was yesterday, it's working. That's triggered the uh, little relay. Now the relay um, uh, essentially switches those two pins, which you can see there, just there. So I'll bring the fuel the fuel pump line will come in through those. It's got a I've used two two cables per channel there in and out of the um, relayed side or here just to be able to carry just a little bit more current for the fuel pump so it has to go through and back out to there. Um, so yeah this this box will be um, nicely waterproofed um, everything seems to be running absolutely fine same as it was yesterday uh, when I was testing it so thankfully the translation onto an actual board has worked as expected. Um, so I'm going to struggle to make these changes with just one hand, but let's see if I can just lodge that in there. So this is removing some of the fuel, making the fuel read lower. There we go, it's just going yellow. Get into the orange. Into the orange a bit more. Coming into the red, I guess now. There we go. One one bar red. And make it completely empty now. Okay, there's the empty. Now it's doing its final red pump. It's, it's working well. So um, this will pack up quite nicely. Um, that'll actually fit in the box there. Um, well, before I pack it up properly, I'll put some insulators. I'll put some insulators on the bottom of that board. Um, it's safe enough for now, but um, I wouldn't want that shorting out on anything else in the box. So I'll make a little plastic packer or something, put it on the bottom or We'll just put some tape over the over the bottom of that. Um, yeah. So that's roughly how it will be. Um, I can still get into there. <coughs> I can still get into there uh, in order to tune it when I get to the US. Um, I'll have to pull this board out. Um, I'll have to pull it out as far as there. Plug the USB into that. Uh, get the computer talking to it. Take some readings off the sender when I get the sender finally plugged in properly. Uh, make a code adjustment uh, just to change the, the range that I expect of the sender finally um, when it's actually properly in situ and then um, and then I'm pretty much done so there's a controller I've got a, a second Arduino pre-programmed so I'll be taking that with me as a spare just in case this one craps itself worst case I can pick these things up and I will be able to reprogram it because all I need is my dongle my uh, my, my USB-C thing 
and the USB cable, which I will have to take that anyway. So, um, and that's also good for my Garmin as well. That, that cable's a really good one for my Garmin. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, pretty much done.